Hey, welcome to my garage of all places for this week's midweek devotion. Now, why am I in my garage? Well, I don't know what your plans are for this weekend, but my plan is to clean out this area behind me. See, it's been like this all summer, but it's been too hot. Who wants to spend time in a garage when it's 100 degrees outside, which means it's probably about 120 in here. But what I need to do is I need to declutter. I need to do some cleaning because there is so much stuff behind me and a lot of that stuff, frankly, I don't need or I don't use. Like most guys, I have a random pile of wood back there that is covered up by so much other stuff that you can't even see it. But I have all these different sizes and shapes. I mean, who knows when I will ever need this piece of wood. Well, see, I think this really gets to a bigger problem and a bigger issue. And that problem is, why don't we get rid of stuff? Like, why do we as people struggle so much to let go of things? Well, I think there's a few explanations for that. Number one, I think our stuff, it provides security. Like if we have things, we think, well, you know, someday I might need this and then I won't have to spend the money to get it again. Well, what we don't realize is that thing has been taking up space for this whole time. That whole area could have had something else in it besides storing something that you have absolutely no use for. Now, the second reason I think we hold on to stuff is we believe that maybe someday it will hold a purpose. See, I know I'm guilty of this, especially when it comes to something like clothes. I'll hang on to a shirt way too long because I'll think, well, I just might sometime need to wear that team shirt if I go to a game. I still have a lot of Oklahoma State stuff. I haven't lived in Oklahoma now for over 11 years. I'm not going to a football game this Saturday. I probably don't need that orange sweatshirt to be ready to wear at any time. But we do that. We hold on to stuff. And I think the other reason that we hold on to stuff is it brings us happiness. Or I should say, we think it brings us happiness. See, I think when we're struggling with loneliness or anxiety or different really big emotions, I think sometimes we want to just kind of surround ourselves with stuff. I remember I even used to do this as a kid. I would have a whole bunch of stuffed animals and I would just kind of pile them around me and I would just feel like, okay, I'm all right. Like I'm covered, I'm protected. And we still do that even as adults. Sure, we don't have stuffed animals, but we have rooms or areas that are just full or cluttered with stuff or maybe we don't want to deal with things. So we clutter our schedules and we fill them up so we're never bored or we're never lonely. So then the next big question is, how do we get rid of stuff and then what do we do? Well, I think the big reason why we declutter or we figure out a way to get rid of things is we wanna open up space for other things. This is something I always tell with people who are super busy and they're complaining about their schedule and I said, what if you didn't do that? What if you gave up that thing? What if you said no next time? I know, none of us wanna say no, but anytime you say no, it's an opportunity for something else to happen. You know, some of the coolest things I've seen happen are talking to kids and they're playing a sport and they're like, you know what, I really don't love it. And they're in like eighth grade, ninth grade, about to go to high school. I said, why don't you quit? Stop playing it. Because guess what? You might find something else in your life that you like and you enjoy more. You don't have to be stuck doing something you don't wanna do. Now, the other reason I think we need to learn to get rid of stuff is we need to stop relying on stuff. See, I think our stuff sometimes kind of is that band-aid of things we rely upon instead of relying on God. See, I think sometimes we need to be more vulnerable. We need to shed some of the things. We need to shed the emotions because I'm even one sometimes, I just need a good cry. I need to let it out. I think the same is true with our stuff. Sometimes we just need to get rid of stuff, like go through, have the moments, have the memories that maybe that thing represented, but if you're never gonna use it, get rid of it. Sell it, give it to someone else, give it away, throw it away. Make room in your life for other things. Because the truth is we don't wanna clutter our lives with things that don't help us to grow in our relationship with God. So that might be a good, you know, kind of litmus test. Does, do I need this? And is this gonna help me like get closer to God? I think we could do that in our friendships and our relationships too. If that person isn't helping you get closer to God, well, maybe get closer to someone else. Like maybe, you know, spend less time with that person who might, be bringing you down because we all get in these difficult cycles but we know that we have a God who can fill every spot in our life but we also have to let him we have to provide those opportunities for space in our life to let God help us grow with him so blessings in your week 
I'll be spending time this weekend decluttering this area, but I hope you can also spend time decluttering some of those things in your life to grow that relationship with God.